Hello there guys, welcome to this video. Uh, let's see in the short time everything you need to know to, sh to start using Autodesk Maya. Uh, comment to improve our next video. In this tutorial, we'll see the most important tools to create a basic project. You need more practice and experience to make more complex one. Uh, so, um, don't, don't scare when you open the Maya and see a lot of buttons and a lot of uh, tabs and <laughs> tools around here. Uh, so, don't worry about it. After, after a while, you can learn all of them. Uh, Maya has uh, several kind of uh, objects and tools used to build a comple uh, complete uh, custom 2D or 3D model which you can find them uh, above uh, the main um, work workspace so the workspace and the main hello there guys uh, welcome to this video uh, let's see in the short time everything you need to know to, to start using Autodesk Maya uh, and uh, leave us comment to improve our next video in this tutorial, we'll see the most important tools to create a basic project. You need more practice and experience to make more complex one. Uh, so, um, don't, don't scare when you open the Maya and see a lot of buttons and a lot of uh, tabs and <laughs> tools around here. Uh, so, don't worry about it. After, after a while, you can learn all of them. Uh, Maya has uh, several kind of uh, objects and tools used to build a comple uh, complete uh, custom 2D or 3D model, which you can find them uh, above uh, the main um, work workspace. So the workspace and uh, the main workspace has um, a lot of um, tab actually. Uh, and uh, when you click on the tab, you can see uh, different uh, tools. For example, the curve and surface. So if you click uh, on this tab, uh, you can find um, so many different curve and surface. Uh, or um, polygon, you can find a lot of different shapes in the sculpting and so on. So I want to start with the tabs in the in up uh, in the main workspace and I want to show you uh, the common uh, tools uh, you for move rotate and scale and how you can uh, move and uh, rotate and uh, actually uh, dolly uh, on your object so we start with this step uh, in the main, uh, main work uh, workspace, click on the, the NERP cycle and when you click, you create a curve cycle. So, uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, with these tools here, that these tools is uh, select tools. Uh, and when you click on that so you can select the objects for example if you had uh, so many objects on, on your cell in your cell so you can uh, with the click on those things uh, so you can select them uh, for move the objects in your cell you can use the move tools so when you click on the move tools you can see uh, these tools active. Uh, so um, this is uh, your first time, maybe, or your, you know about the uh, 3D. Uh, if you know about the 3D, so a 3D uh, uh, has a three um, axes. Uh, so y, uh, y, Z, and X. So uh, if you move on one axis, so you can see the value of the uh, translate uh, x, uh, x uh, change. Or if you move on the z, so you can change here in uh, for y2. 
So if you want to move in the three uh, dimension, uh, so you can use the middle of um, three axis. There is a yellow box. If you click on that, you see the three of them active and you can move them. So and uh, and control Z, you know, can you know, reset actually or uh, um, undo your act uh, act. So or or control it like can redo. What that mean? It mean when you do something and in, you are not sure about it and you want uh, undo, you can control Z and control Z again and you come back to to the first uh, position. Uh, why to why say uh, I do that because I do two action and I uh, one one act here and one act here and one act here so it's three one two three and I put the controls at three times so okay uh, uh, let's come back uh, to explain the tools so uh, with the move move tools we can move the object in the 3d space with the y uh, or Z or if you mm, you can see this uh, uh, different color box here in your uh, if you use this box uh, the only this uh, two axes uh, be active uh, if you use this box it's only for that two uh, axes and for this two so in the main uh, in the middle if you use it so it's all uh, that the three uh, three axes be active. Uh, the next one is uh, rotate. It's uh, the same uh, axis, so X, uh, Z, and X, and this uh, yellow one for your uh, your camera actually. So when you uh, from camera view uh, rotate actually. So, um, so with these tools, you can rotate your object in the 3D uh, space view. And with the scale, you can scale your um, object in, uh, in one axis or uh, two axes together. And this area, so in the A grid, because we, uh, this is the 2D uh, object so we we don't have the uh, third axis so it's only we can uh, extrude in uh, two axes uh, X and uh, Z so uh, let's uh, try practice actually so uh, we we, uh, we can move object and create another cycle and we can scale it and move another place or in the 3d um, we can create another one here in rotate and with the move tools move and practice it's very good for uh, new and or beginner uh, so you, you really need to use these tools and uh, you need to experience uh, using these tools in the 3d dimension uh, because yeah, you need to uh, improve your visualization and improve your skills in 3D uh, space. So I just click on create and I use this or select or move, rotate and scale. So you can scale and you can click on move and move in your space and you can rotate and again maybe scale we can use scale and uh, this tools so with the select tools you can select uh, your object how uh, so how we can add more object with these two select if you select two select you, you can move together or with the Q uh, with the select tools uh, and if you hold shift and click the another object you can add to your selection and you can move them together and if you want to remove one act uh, one object from your selection just um, push control and click on 
that object you don't want to be select so it's a good practice for you for selection and uh, remove your selection so you want to remove these two so just with the sh with shift we can add and with the control we can uh, deselect those objects so um, for uh, so um, maybe the, you have this question how can I rotate around my object oh it's so cool man so you can use um, uh, these tools uh, you, if you push if you push the alt and if you click so you actually you tumble tools be active and you can rotate around your objects so how i do that i just push the alt on the keyboard and i use the click on the active view so you can rotate around the objects and you can mm, experience these things so if you want the active the track tools you can push uh, actually hold the alt in middle click and you can track on the wheel so it's a middle click left click actually click middle click and right click if you active right click if you hold and push the alt and uh, click on the left bottom of the mouse so you active Dolly tools so you can zoom on your object and you can zoom in and zoom out with this uh, Dolly tools okay so we learn how we can track and rotate and zoom on the object so it's so uh, mm, powerful tools actually you you have to use these uh, bottoms and these tools uh, to uh, rotate and dolly and pan in the 3d space so uh, for next step uh, so if you want delete this object just uh, push the delete on uh, keyboard and you can delete the objects and just practice and it's so good for uh, first just move uh, the, um, your object scale and rotate and rotate uh, in the 3d space track and zoom in your object this can be useful and you need more experience in these softwares so uh, I want to explain a little about the polygon what's the polygon and uh, tab in the top of space uh, in the uh, main work space so um, uh, we start with the sphere uh, if uh, if you have this uh, question how can I jump and my object I just push the F button when you uh, you are so far from your object and you want to uh, zoom exactly on uh, one object you really uh, need to more detail uh, just uh, select that object and push the F and uh, you jump in the frame of that uh, object so it's useful uh, shortcut when you have a complex uh, scene it is so uh, so useful for you if you select three of them and push the F the frame is for three objects so I, I want um, I need more detail so I just select my object and push the F and jump in the uh, in front of my object okay so uh, uh, the polygon actually the, we have to learn a little about the polygon what's the polygon and what's the Asian point so uh, if you see uh, 3d object uh, uh, the 3d object they are had 
So a, a polygon composite uh, with the four um, a vertex and uh, four edge. As you see here, we have the four edge uh, or four point. Actually, I can show you here. Um, if I active this, don't worry about this stuff. So later you can learn all of them. So we have points. If you attention to this uh, this uh, polygon, uh, actually this face, um, this square is one face. So this uh, face um, components from uh, components are uh, four point and four edge. So what's that mean? Um, it means uh, a one one face components four point or four edge. Uh, I don't want to explain a lot for you right now. I don't want to uh, confuse you and uh, uh, go in, in through, uh, uh, go walk, uh, throw a lot about the polygon and points. But it's for a start. It's uh, it's better you know about the polygon. Every polygon has every mm, face. Actually, we say it's a one polygon. So they are. Uh, Components uh, are made of uh, four edge or four uh, point. So, uh, how we can select these uh, parts? If you right click on the object and you select the vertex, so you can select the vertex of that object and you can move those points uh, which you select. If you remember, I, I told you how you can uh, remove that points you really don't don't need it, or add with the shift more point to your selection. So, or you can rotate or scale and move. So, I just I just want to explain uh, to you about the selection, the different selection. So again, uh, if you right click. And select the face you can select the face and move and you can select the age and move the age or select the vertex and you move the vertex so it's the components of the object and you can make um, a box here and you can move with the tools uh, before I mentioned them so you can make the cylinder and uh, you can make polygon and you can move just mm, try the different uh, shapes well, we have in the main uh, workspace so just try it and move them in um, a little practice with this stuff so we explain a little about this two tab and explain this bar here uh, and how you can rotate and dolly and pan. Uh, so we have a little um, things here and uh, it's uh, maybe in the next uh, tutorial I'll explain about, uh, more about these parts. Uh, so about the um, uh, here maybe attribute editor uh, or about the channel box it's better we explain about that if you uh, want mm, a more detail or uh, actually you can uh, you can uh, with the channel box uh, you can control the, your object so there is some mm, uh, some parameters if you change the value of them so you can uh, change the shape of the uh, shape of your object if you subdivision you you can add more uh, subdivision to your object and radius uh, so it these parameters for um, each object is different so if you need 
a cube with the more subdivision just uh, add uh, more subdivision in the subdivision wide height and depth uh, how you can do that just uh, go in the channel box and you can mm, select uh, the input polygon cube and change the subdivision and how you can increase it it's so easy just click on that and uh, put the number in the, your keyboard now I think uh, for the first tutorial it's enough right now just uh, practice and moving and selection and rotate on your object frame on your object and dolly pin track and we can continue uh, with new tools in next tutorial please uh, uh, leave us comments to improve our next videos thanks for watching this video have a nice day